This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile, the makers of world-class software like PDF Pen for Mac, PDF Pen Pro for Mac, PDF Pen for iPhone and iPad, PDF Pen Scan Plus for iPhone and iPad, Text Expander for Mac, and Text Expander for iPhone and iPad. Learn more about all their great products at smilesoftware.com. This is Mac Voices at CES and Showstoppers. I'm Chuck Joyner. We're in the AmpMe booth talking to Alan about AmpMe and what it does. And it's kind of a unique concept, but I like it. I like it. Tell us about it. So, so AmpMe is a free mobile app uh, that you can download uh, on, on iOS or Android. And what it does is it allows you to sync devices together. So in the booth uh, in, behind here, you can see that there's uh, iPhones synced together, uh, iPads synced together. We have an iPad Pro there as well. And it also syncs with Android devices as well, so it's cross-platform. And at CS, what we're launching is the, the ability to sync Bluetooth speakers together as well. So anybody who has a Bluetooth speaker at home, you go to your friend's house, you can bring your Bluetooth speaker, they have theirs, and instead of fighting about which Bluetooth speaker is louder and using that one, you can just sync them all together. So that's like the big innovation that we're launching this year. So I can take this, and, and, and you say the, it's cross-platform, so I can have an Android phone and an iPhone and an iPad. Yeah, so and we don't have to fight about Mac, PC, you know, that right. type of thing. But, but even on the same network. On the same, yeah, exactly. So as long as uh, you have some kind of connection, so it's either uh, you know, LTE or Wi-Fi, or if, you, if there's no internet connection, if you have a local hotspot, so you, I just create a hotspot on my phone, as long as, as so obviously we have to send the information, right. so that if I'm the host uh, and I create a party, you don't need to have that song on your phone or your device. As long as I have it and I play it, AmpMe is going to send the song on to the other phones or other devices, and then they're going to sync together. OK, so I'm, I'm the host, and I'm controlling what is playing yeah. on everything on the network, yeah. right? Uh, so what are my choices for what I can send to the network? Right. Any audio source, or do right. I have to have limited selection? So, so obviously your local library, so stuff that's on your device itself. Uh, we also uh, integrated SoundCloud. There's YouTube, so you can see that they're playing actually a video right now. So it's like you, you can watch YouTube like videos together at the same time. Um, we used to have songs up before they got bought, and we're working on other sources as well. So we have two new sources that we're going to announce very soon, but I can talk about now. Okay. But as you can imagine, people ask, you know, Spotify, Google. You know, sure, like, well, there are a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's so many of them, and, and also in different markets. So uh, AmpMe has been used in 126 countries. So in each country, it's a different service. So in France, it's Deezer. So there's a lot, a lot out there. And obviously, it's, we're a year old. We have uh, 3 million downloads so far. Uh, Google actually um, named us one of the best apps of 2016 on the Play Store. Uh, we have more iOS, iOS users, actually. Right. But you know, Google, you know, Android users kept up as well. And what's nice is that it's, it's really uh, platform agnostic and brand agnostic in the sense that you can have, like we have a Beats Pill, we have a Bose, we have a Monster, we have a UE, they're all synced together. That's a, it's like kind of bringing the, this accessible, sound portable sound system to anybody. Because uh, you, you know Sonos? Oh, sure. Yeah, so Sonos, uh, you, you have to buy the same brand of speakers in or, and use their app in order to sync them all together. What we're allowing you to do is to the 99% of people who don't have Sonos or might not be able to afford it, they can do it as well. So, for example, some of our users we've seen on Twitter, uh, they're like, I just, I just synced, you know, half of my school bus on AmpMe, or, or like <laughs> they're in the classroom, and, and you have, and the teachers just laugh and they're like, let's start a party. So, obviously, in the classroom setting, they don't have a sound system in their classroom. Everybody, but everybody has a phone. Take out the phone, and then they start a party. That's that's cool. So what, I, I guess, is this is an app or a service or how? It's, it's, a free, it's a free mobile app that you download. It's free? Yeah. So how do you make money? Right. <laughs> Everybody asks that question. Uh, so Shazam, for example, uh, you know, they, they, they do only one thing, but they do it well enough that people use it and engage with it. That's our, so right now we're not focused on making money. We, we have investments, so like we had 10 million uh, funds raised. Uh, that allows us to develop the product and focus really on the user experience. So that's the first step. And after that, we're going to figure out how to monetize. I, we're not really worried about that because there's so many different ways. So all these streaming services, for example, we could do a rev share uh, with them if we help them sell more premium accounts, like Spotify, for example. Uh, another way is to sell the, the music itself. Uh, and, and then obviously ads, which is you know some people do as well. So that, that, I, for, for us, like we just wanted to solve the problem first, and then we'll figure it out. Uh, and, and what we've seen is that in a lot of countries, 
in, in a lot of countries, what happens is, obviously, I, I think that we're in North America more privileged than most. Uh, so for us, you know, like everybody kind of has a speaker at home, you know, at some point in their lives. In a lot of countries, they only have a, a phone. And what they do is they take a cup and they put it in. So it's like a solo cup, like they put it in and then amplify it. Uh, or a Pringles, you know, you take the Pringles can, you open the other side up. Um, and then uh, for these people, it's like, it's a, a really cheap way. I mean, it's free way of using your existing devices together and then creating that portable sound system. That's so cool. That is absolutely cool. Um, so the website where obviously you go to the iOS store to, to yeah, pick it up exactly. for your iPhone or iPad, exactly. but you have a website where people can learn all yeah. about it. At ampme.com, uh, you know, YouTube, we also do a lot of, you know, we do videos of artists, some of them are coming out, uh, but just, you know, look it up on, on the app store. Alan, thanks for the time. Good job. Thank you so much, Chuck. Take care. Take care. Folks, we'll have more from Showstoppers and CES in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner, and this is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for show notes, links to subscribe, and to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, SoundCloud, the Mac Voices blog, the Mac Voices Dispatch, our weekly newsletter, and on Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard that helps you do more with your Apple tech. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.